Well, welcome everyone. I am currently mowing all the trails and the disc golf course off. And I want to share with you a couple things I do just in case I encounter a yellow jacket's nest or a hornet's nest out here when I'm covering all this wooded ground. And I'll tell you, it happens fast. Uh, anybody that's doing any type of work this year, brush hogging, laying down hay, you already know what I'm talking about. Now if you have a cab on your tractor, normally you're protected pretty well. But if you're sitting out here in the open like you are on one of these machines or one of the older style tractors, it can happen fast. But I do wear a bee suit. I try to keep this thing on me when it gets hot and dry like this. Normally in the summertime, late summer, is when bees get extremely aggressive. And once I put this thing on, I don't have to be quite as apprehensive back there as I'm mowing. And it does allow me to mow faster. Uh, if you do encounter a nest, you may have something available for you. This stuff can get out there to about 10 feet and potentially, you know, save you from disaster. And another thing I use, uh, this is actually a bug repellent as well as pesticide. And I soak my clothing down and I've been in weeds back here up to my knees. And I have yet to pull a tick or have a mosquito bite on me. So this stuff works. As well as this. This is a, an effective deterrent should you run across the bee's nest and you need to exterminate it quickly. Now if you are having a problem with a larger nest, you're probably better off to wait until nighttime when all the bees come back to the nest or early in the morning. Bees are not nearly as aggressive until the sun really starts rising in the morning where they get out and do their foraging. So that may be a pointer for you. I normally, if I run across the nest, make a mental note or mark it if it's back here in the back to where I may not be able to find it as easy again. And then at nighttime I just walk back there and, and uh, I use several different methods, but this spray does work pretty good, okay? Uh, you can see as dirty as that lawnmower is, we've been busy. I've got about 12 acres laid down so far. But anyway, uh, now yellow jackets, once they're in the ground, they can range from 500 bees to a nest all the way up to 10,000 bees. And they do cause deaths in the United States. Uh, the yellow jacket can sting you repeatedly. And once one stings you, they're going to swarm you. And if I'm riding on the lawnmower, and I do run over a nest, uh, once I see one of them, then I will continue to travel. This thing can run faster than I can. So I get out and get away from the nest and leave it running when you have to exit the machine. That way, typically, this is what they thought was doing harm to their nest, and they'll attack the lawnmower and maybe not you. But, you know, get to safety, because, again, you don't know exactly what you're dealing with. And yellow jackets for a little bitty bee, you got to figure, those guys are hard to see to begin with, right? So you get a little bitty bee on you, and when they sting me, it feels like I've gotten electrocuted. Boy, when it hits me, it hits me hard. I'm not allergic, but my goodness, if you take, you know, 15 or 20 stings, you're going to have a problem. So again, just some of the things uh, that I do when I'm mowing out the wooded acreage back here. Uh, it's that time of year. I'm getting ready for our fall videos for you guys, and I really hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. So let's get started, and if you're out mowing grass or covering hay fields and things like that, be careful. Bumblebees, wasps, hornets, I mean, there, there's a quite a list of things that can get out there and get you. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. I look like the Michelin man. <laughs> nest is located right in the center of the screen and hopefully you're going to be able to see the bees flying around. I was string trimming that yesterday and got stung. One of them got me right on the shoulder. But that's honeysuckle vine that I was trimming out there. Big 
big cleanup, guys. I see some deer back there. I stirred them up. This lawnmower running. Oop, there she goes. She come running down there. She didn't know exactly what I had. Shut this lawnmower off. There's just so many trees back here that uh, it does slow down the process. We made it through the wooded section. Got a lot of that area cleaned up. Let's roll down through here and we'll get to the other end. I'm glad to get this grass mowed out. We're going to come back here in a few days and harvest this tree. We have a couple more right here in this area. That's going to make some excellent firewood. And it's just about time to start cutting wood, isn't it? have this course this clean there's really no excuses for a bad golf game <laughs> although I can find some well we've made it all the way back to hole number nine and you can see all the way back in the background where the daylight's starting to come through that hole back there that's where the tee pad is for hole number nine here and We've got almost all the trees done. I've got a few more right here in this area. It's just now daylight, and we're in the low 80s. It is absolutely burning up this morning. We're heading to 100 degrees today, and the humidity is already in the upper 80s percentile as well. We're going to keep cleaning. I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. Guys, I come through here this morning with the lawnmower, and I didn't have any problems. I went ahead and took the bee suit off and dug up a string trimmer. And I was a string trimming for about three minutes before I was stung already four times on the shoulder and then one flew inside my ear and actually stung me inside the ear. But I'm going to bring you around to the hole and it's right here. And this is what makes these bees both uh, annoying and dangerous. As you can not see the hole. And they are so small that unless you catch the sunlight just right, you can't even see them moving in and out of their uh, den there or their nest. As you can probably see, I'm, I'm pointing towards it. And again, I'm going to zoom you in here in just a second. Those dudes are flying out of there now at a pretty regular pace. You're going right in that hole in the ground there. And I will wait till my time. You can give them time to all get back to the nest before I come back and exterminate them. Alright, I'm going to continue mowing. I've been weed eating. I've had the push mower out. I've even had the chainsaw out. So I've, I've been busy cleaning up everything for you guys back there so it looks great on the camera for you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Be careful out there.